Good evening. Tonight on MC Electric Chair presents, prepare yourselves, dear viewers, for a delightfully dreadful tale of a Christian coloring book gone terribly wrong from our dear friend, Dr. Rusty Wigwam, psychopathic megalomaniac, an amateur necrophilia enthusiast. Hmm. I got a pretty upsetting message. As most of you probably know by now, give me a break, man. Give me the who? Who? Victor? Who's that? Oh, give me a break, man. <sighs> Alright. So it seems like... Give me a break, man's dead? I know he's dead. Yeah, I feel bad about that. There's been a rumor that's circulating that Victor from Japan is dead. Everybody says you're dead! Gone. Victor died. Oh my god, that's terrible. Give me a break, man. Wait, who's giving you a break, man? He's dead? You know, as in not alive. Hmm. I haven't even noticed. Oh, speaking of dead... This is a dead fly on my light. Victor? I never really watched him. I don't really watch him. I didn't even notice he was gone. That's quite funny, actually. Maybe two things dead. Mm. I heard a rumor today that, give me a break, man, Victor has passed on. He's gone. I didn't really notice he was gone. We are gathered here today to remember the life and times of one Give me a flake, man. I was having sex with a horse on my big double bed. When I heard the news, the dictator is dead. He's dead, he's dead, let the world rejoice. We don't have to listen to his irritating voice. You know, to be his age, I really wasn't surprised. I've never heard of this guy, give me a break, man. Give me the break, man? A.K.A. The dictator. Where are you, Victor? But why'd you have to die on me? Victor, he was always, he was always giving me a break. Man. <laughs> I mean, I, I would have missed you too if I never, I never noticed he was gone. Ow! <laughs> You fucking asshole, why did you leave us? I was very excited to hear about the death of Gimme a Break Man. And if no one else wants his corpse, please send it to me. I'm sure I could have a lot of very sexy fun with it. This is for you, Gimme a Break Man. It's Gimme a Break Man? Everybody knows that you're no good lolly wagon. Good for nothing, ding dong, dangle wang, and donkey dick licker. What a butthole. Give me a break, man, was. What an idiot. But Victor, deep down, is a very so so sort of a person. Motherfucker, you owe me over a thousand dollars. You can't die yet, you bitch. We're gathered here today in memory of Mr. Breakman. Some of you are very well aware of Victor's how to put this as uh, softly as possible, his uh, basic lack of a personality. Breakman's not his last name. The best buttholes are people like, give me a break, man. Who is this guy? Give me a break, man, you fucking asshole. You sure he's on YouTube? When I heard that Victor's dog, Maggie, had died in a terrible accident, I was very sad. But then I heard that Maggie was okay and I was very, very happy. Uh, but I am also sad that Victor did not survive. Hello, Maggie! Kentanaka loves you! What does he do on YouTube again? Is he Japanese? Why are we doing this eulogy for him? He's probably watching us right now. You know. From down there. There's just so much we can learn about pissing people off and garnering haters. Goodbye, Victor! Goodbye!
He had so many good videos. The one where Maggie played with the balloon, the one where Maggie played in the water, the one where Maggie farted. Now that is what YouTube is about. He can make the most mediocre video here on YouTube and and, and you know I, I'll be honest with you I I uh, I you know in a way uh, you don't really do miss him. Thanks Victor. Rest in peace Victor. Give me a break, man. I always thought you were a cool guy, but you shouldn't let a guy fuck you in the ass. Now that was surprising. <laughs> oh yeah. Rest in peace, homie. Roger, why'd you ask me to do this? <laughs> ah, man. Give me a break, man. Give him a break because he sure deserves one. My ass kissing days are over. Man, I'm a partner now. I don't have time to be in every single collaboration video that comes my way.